Hello everyone, welcome to the second video I'm making during this COVID-19 situation at home. So as you all know that uh, I'm using the same setup as I did in the first video. Just a table, a plastic chair with a hole cut and the base for, the, for a tripod. And then for the camera itself, I'm actually using my OnePlus 3T. Uh, so it's a very, very simple setup. No professional lighting, just things like that. And you can see here, this is my old Traveler's Notebook as mentioned. And in the first video, I did an unboxing of this Camel Traveler's Notebook. And today, today I'm just going to run through this custom-made Traveler's Notebook and see how I set it up. Okay, so this is a custom-made Traveler's Notebook that I have it done in a Lettersmith in Queensway Shopping Centre. Uh, the Lettersmith is called Franks. I got this for $39. So to open it up, this is how it looks. So a uh, bit different compared to the Traveller's Notebook that I got in Camel. The elastic closure. In this case, it comes from the spine. The other one actually comes from the back. I prefer it in the spine actually because when it pass this elastic band, if it comes from the spine, it actually kind of like create an uneven surface for writing. So I much prefer to have it this way. Well, but just a small uh, so-called disadvantage, but I can live with that. All right, so this is how I set it up. Oops, this comes out. So what I have here, okay. So for the first one, I have this uh, zip pocket folder. I got this in AliExpress. So that what I have here is some stamp card from Tokyo Hands, and I have some bookmarks here that I will give to people, people that I meet uh, in the church or people even outside that I meet, I want to inspire them, I want to encourage them in the, in, you know, in their walk with Christ. Yep, so these are some of the things that I'll give out, Bible bookmarks, and we have here, this is a post-it, post-it uh, marker tabs, right, just a few do that. I put in this zipper pocket. Uh, it's so difficult to film with this chair. And this is another craft. Uh, what do you call this? Craft folder. Yeah, I did this. I created this out of the one of the investment. Uh, not investment. Sorry, insurance. Uh, advertisement. Yeah, so this is basically a piece of, I think it's A3 size, if I remember correctly, that managed to cut it out and just glue it to create this little bit like a cut folder where I can put things in. So this is the second one. And this is, I got it from AliExpress. This is a backing, writing board backing. So sometimes what you do when you write, you can put this behind the paper for uneven for uneven surfaces and you can just write on it like this and okay so we come to the first notebook insert this is my bullet journal I used to set it up with uh, prayer journal first but I find that uh, I can actually combine it my prayer journal I can actually combine it with my bullet journal so right now at the moment I have it set it up in the sense that I have my prayer request uh, people want to pray for, things I want to pray for in this journal itself. And it's a pretty much standard, <laughs> I won't be opening this up to show everyone. Uh, I have my schedule in, my task list, my goals, uh, my planning spreads, my gratitude journal as well, inside as well. So it's pretty much lumped together. Okay, so maybe I can show you another one without opening this up. Okay, this, this is one that I just so-called created. Oh, by the way, you'll notice that it's a bit strange, it's a bit cut off because what I did is I bought an A5 size, a standard A5 size notebook. And then as you all know that for a traveler's notebook size, it's pretty much the same in terms of height of an A5 size notebook. And but the width is, for an A5 notebook, it's longer, it's about 15 cm. So for a standard traveler's notebook size notebook, yeah, it's height-wise is 21 cm, 
and width wise it's just 11 cm so what I did is I bought an A5 size standard notebook and I just measured 11 cm across and I just use uh, a metal ruler and a pen knife and just trim off the excess here so I get a standard size traveler's notebook insert like this and this is the one that's going to replace this and you can see from here my keys so this is how I set it up actually these are the keys that I use task goals, events, note appointments, prayer, gratitude and the usual bullet journal style keys yeah to find out more about bullet journal you can actually do an online search on that very very powerful simple system and you can see that this is a new one that I'm going to be using to replace this and this will be my first notebook insert in place and then this is the behind the craft folder the behind of it where I put more stuff here and there All right and this is the pocket zip folder on the other side I put some uh, some of my church uh, so-called name cards we can give to people that I meet on the street and the second notebook insert, okay, this is my daily devotion insert. When I do my daily devotions, uh, some of my prayers, some of my thoughts, I'll put this in here. Right, it's about half filled. And then from here, the last one will be my junk journal. This is where I do all the crazy scrap, my crazy sketches and uh, doodling and I will sometimes just you know just write down scriptures to memorize and this is where I have it in the last uh, position of this setup so it's quite simple it's just three notebooks with a, with a craft folder and a zip pocket folder yeah and this is how I set it up and oh by the way you notice that I have this uh, bookmark in satin ribbon so this is something I learned from David Lee uh, his ch YouTube channel I believe is SA Tabernacle a very very awesome channel been following him and he giving uh, this is how I learned to do this so called this ribbon bookmarks by shredding it through these two holes here uh, so it's a bit different from the Midori's in fact oops camera shifted but it all is good so uh, this is the Midori style it's a string bookmark I'll replace this most likely with a certain ribbon bookmark yeah and so this is how I set it up and yeah so thanks for watching catch you guys next time again bye